We're here at the Polish Embassy for the Future Civic Leaders event tonight, and I'm excited to be here because I think it's critical that young people, particularly students, get involved in civic life. And I know that the goal of Future Civic Leaders is to engage young people, and I just think that's a critical, critical piece. And I was very lucky, um, the school that I went to encouraged a lot of public service and nonprofit work, and I feel like that really shaped my life in a positive way and gave me so many wonderful experiences. I think it's very important that the future civic leaders focuses on young people from low-income areas who perhaps are attending schools that are underserved, and this is an opportunity to provide something for them that may not be provided in the schools. One of the things that we were talking about about future civic leaders is it not only encourages young people to get involved in public service, but in any way that they feel is powerful to get involved in their communities. Because I think service can mean service by running for office, by being engaged in issues and causes, but it can also be volunteering in your community. When I first moved to Los Angeles, probably the most meaningful experience I had was with a group of my friends who were actors. We decided we wanted to work in lower income areas of Los Angeles on a mentoring theater program. And we were too young and too uh, naive to think we couldn't do it. So we did, and we started a nonprofit that has gone on for almost 15 years now. Well, Voices in Harmony was the nonprofit that I started um, with a group of actors back in 1995 in Los Angeles, working with teenagers in low income communities in the Los Angeles area on a mentoring theater program. And I'd also done some volunteer work in different places in Africa, including northern Uganda. And we decided that we would take a version of that theater program to war-torn northern Uganda to work with former abducted child soldiers and other displaced teenagers. And that experience really opened my eyes to the lasting repercussions of war. And I returned back to Los Angeles, completed that film, and then had the good fortune to co-executive produce a documentary called Halfway Home, which profiles several returning veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, and also former United States Senator Max Cleveland, as they very openly discuss their transition home after experiencing the trauma of war and dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. And that led me to what I'm doing now, which is serving as Senior Director of Justice for Vets. And Justice for Vets champions veterans treatment courts. And veterans treatment courts ensure that when a veteran struggles with the transition home um, and becomes involved in the criminal justice system because of either uh, substance abuse, mental illness, or trauma, that they receive the structure, treatment, and mentoring they need to get their lives back on track. Um, yeah, it's funny, it, it didn't feel like I had any courage going there. I was volunteering with International Medical Corps, um, and I, I felt that um, what we were doing there was very important, and that was my focus. It's really, for me, not so much about fear as it is about service. It's an interesting question. Um, one of my acting teachers said a long time ago when I was studying acting that courage is just fear walking. And I don't really think it took a tremendous amount of courage, just mission-driven, mission-focused. I think the first the first volunteer effort um, that I, I uh, took on was in South Africa, volunteering with an AIDS organization. And I, it was while we were still shooting West Wing, and we had a summer hiatus. And I was, I really wanted to do it. I didn't know what organization to go to. And I actually went. My sister-in-law said, "Why don't you go on Oprah's website? I'm sure you'll find something there." Which I did. And I sent several emails and made several calls to organizations. And I literally went with the first one that returned my email. And it wasn't until I was on the plane going there that I got scared for a moment, which was, I don't know anybody there. I haven't met anyone from the organization that I'm volunteering with. <laughs> and, um, I'm landing in Johannesburg, and I don't know where. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it was interesting because the moment that I got afraid, and I was sitting on the plane in between uh, two businessmen who happened to be friends, and I had the middle seat, and they were talking over me, and then they started talking to me, and um, you know, I, I was feeling a little bit afraid, of this, just realizing what I had signed up for, and they were both asking me, well, there are so many problems, what do you think you, an actress, can do about it? And I remember feeling, and, and my fear went completely away, and I said, well, nothing if I stay home. So, it, it didn't feel like I was particularly courageous, it just felt like I was, I'm just mission driven, and I think, you know, they're working in the veteran space now at Justice for Vets, I feel like I really get to see a tremendous amount of courage.